so apparently people can't go two minutes without bullying Momoland. It's 2020 and there's a pandemic and y'all y'all are like, okay, so I have to self-isolate. Okay, okay, let's bully some innocent girls. Someone on Instagram actually pointed this out to me and they DM'd me it. So thank you to the user Trusted9. Thank you for showing this to me. And before I get into the video, I always ask you guys to subscribe and turn the notifications on because it helps my channel and I always do this at the start of every video, so let's get into it. And here is a disclaimer because I don't, I don't fuck with fan wars, okay? It would be very, very stupid of me to generalise an entire fandom or fandoms for a group of toxic people. I don't believe that these individuals represent their fandoms and every fandom has toxicity in it. Unfortunately, due to some fandoms being bigger than others, there can be larger amounts of toxic people, but that is just life, you know, it's understandable. It is not a group's fault or a fandom's fault that they have toxic people. Toxic people are toxic on their own regardless of who they stan. So today I will be criticising people who bully and target innocent girls. I will not be criticising a fandom, I'll be criticising people who think it's okay to bully innocent girls. And with that out of the way, let's get into the stupidest video I've ever seen ever, okay? Okay, so usually I don't really speak up on hate videos because they never have that many views, but this has got 70,000 views and it's got so many likes and it really, really annoys me. The title is called Why Momoland Don't Like Blackpink But They Love BTS Because Blackpink is Queens. Hashtag BTS, hashtag Blackpink. And I, all I gotta say is, girl, BTS and Blackpink would spit on you. They would not condone this. The first thing they bring up is that stupid, annoying ass rumor that Daisy supposedly laughed at Jimin's voice crack, which she didn't. This accusation has been debunked so many times, not just by myself, but by these two other creators as well. So I would watch all three of these videos if you want. But honestly, I would really recommend watching these videos if you haven't because they also debunk a lot of other Momoland things, especially Chaney Lisu's. So please do check out their videos if you want more context. But anyways, I just want to say it's a known fact that they did not laugh at Jimin's voice crack and it's just a fact, okay? They didn't do it. <laughs> the next thing that they point out in this video is that Dewey was supposedly like shooting daggers into Jenny. So now Dewey can't even look at someone without it being labeled as problematic. Like, I always look at people as well. Does that make me problematic just for looking at people? Because she isn't even scowling. She's literally just looking at her. Like, I don't know what's going through her head, not gonna lie. But this doesn't look like an angry look. It doesn't, it doesn't look like she's gonna wanna throttle Jenny in the neck. It literally just looks like she's looking at her. And maybe she's a fan? Like, I don't know. She's just looking at her. Like, it's just the thing to do. People look at each other when something happens. Like, if you see something happen, you look at someone. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's just normal human behavior just to look at people sometimes. And Jenny's gorgeous. Who wouldn't look at her? The next thing that they brought up was Nancy supposedly glaring at Blackpink. And this is so annoying as well. And they also put big jealous on the text. Okay. This is another stupid accusation that has been debunked so many times on my videos and on Cheney Lisa's. So again, this is just another rumor that's being brought up from the past. Like, I really thought we were over this. Nancy's even explained in interviews that she has like a resting beach face and that she gets misunderstood for this a lot. And it's actually very, very weird to me that people are like criticizing Nancy for having a resting beach face when Jenny also has one. So it's kind of funny how they'll defend their faves from it. But when Nancy does it, it's like not a thing. So why can't they both have it? Like, why can't they both just have resting beach faces? Like, why can't they both just have it? I don't get it. I also want to remind you guys that music show films will sometimes call idols in from like 6 a.m. to work for hours and hours and hours. So Nancy's probably also very, very tired. So sometimes you just can't expect someone to be all smiles and stuff when you're in the background. Like you don't think to be all smiley and stuff because you don't think anyone can see you. Like you're in the background and there's attention on another group. So of course you're not thinking about the best angle to be shown in because you're not even thinking people are looking at you as well. So that's just another thing, but moving on. So they put this thing up saying, they dance Blackpink song playing with fire, but they dance it so ugly, you know what I mean? And then it cuts to them dancing and they're just kind of messing around having fun. You know, they're young girls and they're just like having fun <laughs> throughout the video this person will put comments up and add like little shady little digs at them like for example here i don't understand what the issue is because they're clearly just having fun bopping to a song they like and as if people have never just danced silly to a song they like like i do that with my friends we always just do stupid little dance moves to songs that we listen to and we just act goofy while we're listening to our favorite songs it's stuff that friends do then they start circling stuff 
Like, wh- why are you circling that? <laughs> why are you circling that? And then they're like, Nancy is so happy because Lisa's part, they dance so ugly. Huh? What? And this entire thing just confuses me because the the title of this video is why Momoland don't like Blackpink, but then they do a video of them having fun and bopping out to their song just as friends being silly. Like, they're clearly enjoying the song. They know the words. Like, how is this proving your point? Like, how does this mean they dislike them if they're bopping to the song and they know all the words? It doesn't make sense. The next thing they talk about is Nancy supposedly getting jealous because Jungkook looked at Lisa, but literally everyone was looking at Lisa. So, okay, <laughs> no, your ship isn't real. So stop. Like, I don't know what I got to tell you. Like, it ain't real. While I don't know Nancy personally, she isn't my best friend, but I know Nancy is old enough to not get mad at a grown man for looking at a screen that everyone else is looking at. Then for like the last majority of the video, they just put in like videos of Blackpink looking badass, then a few shady pictures of Nancy trying to make her look like a bad guy. But then they just go back to showing like more videos of Blackpink looking like queens. So maybe they wanted to hit the 10 minute mark. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. There has to be at least someone with sense, right? I thought maybe if I look at the comments, there'll be someone defending Momo Land. Let's have a look. So let's have a read. One person said, they're just jealous that BTS pays more attention to Blackpink. That's all in facts. They mess with the wrong fandoms, LMFAO. This really annoys me because Momo Land didn't mess with any fandoms and they're literally both Blink's arm and armies. <laughs> Like, it's just a known fact that Momoland really enjoy Blackpink and BTS's music and they just like them. So this really annoys me. They didn't mess with any fandoms. They are literally in the fandom. So why are you hating on them when they are literally the same as you? The next comment is actually from the person who uploaded the video saying, Momoland love BTS and they don't love Blackpink. I don't hate Momoland, but why don't they like Blackpink? What's the problem? Well, you literally contradict yourself when you uploaded like a two minute snippet of them bopping and having fun listening to blackpink songs i don't get it whenever someone says a sentence like i don't hate blank but you always know that they hate blank they're just it's just an annoying ass sentence and you know that they're just bullshitting someone else commented momoland never got famous and never will because of their mind angry face what does this even mean like momoland actually did pretty well with boom boom like They've always done pretty well in terms of views. Maybe they don't get the best album sales, but people know Momoland. They're pretty famous. Like, I wouldn't say they're really famous, but I'd say they're famous. Like, come on, don't be delusional. The next comment I wanted to read is, Momoland are never able to beat Blackpink because Blackpink are queens. I hate Momoland. Liz, Kook, and Army Blink forever, etc. Smirky face, smiley face. You know, if Blackpink and BTS saw you behaving like this, they wouldn't agree. You know, Blackpink and BTS are very nice people and they'd be like, why are you doing this? There's enough room in the spotlight for everyone and, you know, just stop. These are just a handful of comments that I would see in the comment section when I was looking through, but there was just so many comments just tearing Momoland down and it's so annoying because I really, really like all three of the groups. Like, I'm not gonna say I'm the biggest army ever, but I do enjoy their music and I think they're really nice people, so. So even though I don't know BTS as well as the next person, I still know that they wouldn't condone this type of behavior. And you know, they're all about spreading love. So I don't think these people even count as armies because if they were real armies, they wouldn't know to spread love, not hate, period. And I know Blackpink wouldn't condone this behaviour either because they're literally the sweetest girls ever. I love Blackpink so much, I stan. You know, I went to their concert, I buy all their albums. So if I ain't a blink, I don't know what I am because I spent too much money on those girls. But I just want everyone to just stop. If you don't like Momo Land's music or if you don't find them attractive, that's one thing. But why are you going to tear them down? Just stop. You can bring your faves up without tearing them down. It's a simple concept, really. It's really simple. My frustration is, is that I thought we were over this. These are all very, very old rumours and accusations that got debunked by so many different people, whether it be on YouTube, Stan, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever. All of these accusations have been debunked and it's just annoying seeing them being brought up again because this video has had such a positive reception and people are just blindly following it. I know that there can be a lot of younger people watching this who are very easily influenced and that's what annoys me more because it's just spreading hate and I don't understand why you would do that when there's so much going on in the world right now. Why would you do such a nasty thing to girls who don't deserve it, you know? Regardless of which group it is, it's just so cruel, you know? 
I thought the Momoland hate train was over. For example, when I go into TikTok, one of the first things I see is this TikTok where it like does this thing where she like pretends to list off all the groups she hates and then it swaps quickly to Momoland and then she says she hates them. Like there, there you go. And this has got 170k likes. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get why these type of things are so popular. Like, why is it funny to make fun of them? Why is it funny to bully people? I don't get it. Because maybe one one post is something, but then it's just continuous posts. Like, I thought we were over this. I thought the K-pop fandom was over this. But no, it really frustrates me because they're just nice girls and I love them so much. Why do people think it's so so funny and so quirky and so woke and different to just bully them? Like, it's just targeted bully. Like, I don't know what else to call it. Like, they're constantly hating on Momoland. Is that not bullying? Because I don't know what it is. And what's even worse to me is that it makes other fandoms look bad because people don't focus on the good of a fandom. People always focus on the bad apples. So when shit like this goes viral, people will always blame the fandom and not the individual. And that's what annoys me is most because I really like, I like BTS, I like EXO, I like TWICE, I like BLACKPINK. And then the, the fandoms for these groups just get put into this bubble because they're the ones who created a viral hate video and stuff like that. And that's what annoys me because it's not the fandom's fault, it's that individual's fault and it just really annoys me. So that is enough from me. I've got myself worked up enough and I think I've got my point across. Remember, even if you don't like Momo Land, don't be a dick, okay? Just don't be that person who leaves hate comments. If you don't like their music or whatever, just keep your mouth closed. You don't need to spread hate online because there's already so much. We're going through something right now so it's better to just stay safe and enjoy the things you love rather than focus on the things you dislike. I should take my own advice. Oops. Whatever. I'm spreading awareness, okay? I'm spreading awareness, okay? <laughs> Stop. Don't at me. Regardless, I want this video to be sort of a wake-up call. I want people to realise that it's not okay to hate on Momoland. I'll keep on saying this till the day I die, okay? So remember to just spread love, not hate. And I'll see you guys later. Stand tan and watch for my love. I'm going to spread my Bye!